How you doing? Welcome to uh, to live stream number 198. All right, it is September 7th, and uh, we should be uh, we should be going here. Hopefully, we get a few people joining us on this beautiful Friday. Um, live stream number 198. Today's topic is one. That's gonna be my thumbnail. One, one, one Fusion 360. Some change, and uh, and then I'm going to show you uh, how you can get a hold of some more cam tools. Because on Fridays is normally when we're doing a cam on these live streams. I can see that we got Darren here, we got Christopher here, Bernie. Um, it's absolutely awesome. Um, I'm not live. On, I'm not live on Facebook. Um, I for some reason I downloaded the latest. Uh, software version that I'm using here called Wirecast and then suddenly it wouldn't load Facebook and it look like I'm also a little dark maybe. Uh, the clock is ticking, we got two minutes. If you're watching the recording, I don't blame you for fast forward a little bit. Um, man, got Texas here. Love Texas, great place. Um, yeah, absolutely uh, appreciate you guys uh, taking the time to join uh, today's live stream. It's absolutely awesome. All right. Um, we got about a minute left here. We're gonna jump in. Like I said, today's topic is one Fusion 360. There is some big uh, Fusion 360 uh, announced, uh, some change, and uh, then because it is Friday, I'll show you uh, some new cam tools you can install into uh, into your Fusion 360. Uh, Friday is normally the cam day. Got Port Portugal here. Uh, the chat sorted out. Uh, yeah, something, uh, some issues, technical issues. It's always good. Uh, I think I figured that out with the chat. I'll definitely make sure that today I'll uh, I'll hang around in the end. Um, Australia, absolutely awesome. France, so cool. Thank you so much for uh, for taking the time to uh, to join these live streams. Uh, it means the world to me, and I'll definitely make sure that the recording of this uh, gets loaded up on Facebook. I don't know what happened. Um, you know, sometimes with technical technical stuff like this, re-authenticate my Facebook account and settings, and I was like, okay, that's just gonna have to uh, to wait. All right, um, let's jump into uh, let's jump into today's topic here. Got 24 seconds. That's probably about what it takes me to uh, to jump in and uh, get rid of the clock. Let's see here. And we should be good to go. Three, two, one. Here we go. <laughs> hey, everybody, and welcome to live stream number 198. My name is Lars Christensen, and uh, this this is just an attempt to add a little bit more uh, fu uh, fusion, ex a little bit more. A little bit more pleasure to your Fusion 360 experience, I guess uh, I should say. Uh, today's topic is one uh, Fusion 360. Some uh, big announcements uh, coming out of uh, our headquarters in San Francisco yesterday. I was kind of waiting for that to uh, to, to happen. Uh, some change, and then I'm going to uh, to to talk about uh, some new cam tools um, that is uh, being launched inside of Fusion 360. So. Yes, uh, let me just quickly summarize what we're going to talk about today. So, one Fusion 360. So, um, without getting too deep into this, um, I'll just give you kind of like a summary of what we're gonna, what's going to happen today. Um, October 7th, the pricing module is changing for Fusion 360. Right now, there is two levels. There is a, uh, a standard level of Fusion 360 paid version and there is a ultimate version of Fusion 360. Two different tiers. Um, they are now going to be, October 7th, are going to be combined to one tier. So there's only going to be one. Uh, now, if you are on the educational version or on the hobbyist version, no change for you. You have nothing uh, to worry about. Uh, from a, it's only for uh, commercial licenses that, that that will kind of change. The other thing that is news or change that uh, I need to share with you folks is that um, I have kind of changed position at, uh, at Autodesk. 
Um, so when I started doing these live streams, I was in technical marketing. Then I switched over to evangelist, what means that uh, that I was more end user awareness kind of style. Now I'm back to technical marketing. Um, I'm not quite sure what it's going to mean for here on the channel, but I'm probably going to take a break from the daily live streams. I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to, I'm not sure I'm going to have time for the daily live streams um, because they do consume some time. Uh, but uh, I haven't really figured out what's going to happen with, with the channel yet. Um, and then in the end, um, they have just released that um, uh, release some new tools inside of Fusion 360, um, Harvey Tools catalog, I don't know if you're ever familiar with that, and the Helical tool library. Their entire catalog is now uh, dropped inside of Fusion 360. So that's the three things we're gonna cover today, uh, a little bit more in depth. So um, let's, uh, let's, get into, whoop, let's get into Fusion 360 here. There we go. <laughs> Fusion 360. Um, all right. And then I just lost my, my camera on the other side. All right. So Fusion 360. Uh, let me talk a little bit about this new one Fusion 360 that was announced yesterday. And you can read more about this if you go up to the question mark inside of your Fusion. If you go to community and you click on the block uh, right here, that will open up your web browser. Um, and uh, the first, the, the latest blog in here was posted yesterday by Sam, um, is uh, this new Fusion 360. So here you can go and read a little bit more about it. Steve Hooper, awesome guy, um, talks a little bit about this in the video. Um, but this is where you can get the, the first information about uh, the one Fusion 360. So what does that mean? I'm gonna do my best to cover it, so you know what what it means. And I wrote some, <laughs> I uh, I wrote some notes. Uh, so this is gonna happen October seventh. So there's about a month um, till this is going to happen, where the commercial license. So again, like I said before, if you just joined, um, if you are on the educational version or if you're on the hobbyist version, nothing is changing for you. N no, no change at all. If you're on the commercial. Um, Aspect so your 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 company's making over a hundred thousand dollars. I think that's the rules I've talked about that before in the live stream um, If you're in the commercial license where you're paying for fusion 360 in a month uh, The payment structure is going to change. So to this point you had the standard version of fusion 360 right now cost three hundred and ten dollars um, And then there's the ultimate version of fusion 360 it right now it cost uh, $1,500 a year um, and in the ultimate version that and by the way the ultimate version is the one the hobbyist and the educational system have um, in the ultimate versions you have a bunch of more of the simulation tools so non-linear um, frequency I think is in there you have all the five axes um, and you have the generative uh, design. Now, generative is still only going to be available in the commercial license. What is happening is that the $310 version uh, a year and the $1,500 version a year becomes one. There's only going to be one and it's going to be sold for $495. But here's the cool thing, folks. Here's the really, really cool thing. So this change is gonna happen October 7th. So in October 7th, 2018. And now again, I'm sharing what I know. Um, you know, I'm the boss boy in the restaurant trying to be the chef. Uh, but the coolest thing about this is that if you right now are paying $310 for Fusion 360, if you, if you do that right now, if you maintain your subscription, you will not, you October 7th your price will not go up but your you will get the ultimate uh, functions you will get um, the five axis and all the simulation tools uh, and the generative design so if you're paying three hundred and ten dollars right now a year uh, October 7th then uh, instead of being bumped up to four hundred and ninety ninety five look down my note um, you will stay at 310. You'll be what they call grandfathered in 
at 310 the same thing as long as you continue renewing now if you stop renewing and you want to go back then it's going to cost you the 595 that's fair but but you will stay with the 310 yeah how cool is that now if you are on the ultimate version right now you're like well wait a minute um how the heck is this going to work well for ultimate users as it, when you are, are in on the ultimate automatically you will get 24 months where you're not going to be renewing okay and then you will just obtain it at 495 dollars so two things 310 dollars uh, a month if you're paying that right now at october 7th you will get all the ultimate functions um, but staying at the same level if you are at the ultimate level then you will get 24 months where you don't have to pay anything uh, you've been usually been paying fifteen hundred dollars a year and now it's gonna drop down to four ninety five. Ha ha ha! The only thing you have to make sure is that you continue renewing. You can't stop that. Um, but I, I think that's last some of you guys knew I was in San Francisco a few weeks ago. Uh, I was kind of part of some of the meetings where that was talked about and I, honestly, like just from a personal level, I think this is probably and, and by the way, there's some of this before all this, there was people who were in on another level uh, before that. If there's any of you guys watching this, you will also continue on the same level you've been at. So whoever is on the same level you are at right now, you will just continue uh, with, with that into the new tier uh, and then, um, you know, continue paying. I hope that made sense. Go and, um, go and read uh, this, uh, this blog post here um for that again go to the easiest way to go to it is go to fusion um go and click on the question mark go to community go and click the block and the first block is this one here that sam mattel uh, satel wrote um great blog post uh that talks about all these uh different different things and what's going to happen um and it's really just a way um to uh, to just make sure that you know um that the product, as, as, you know, one of the things that I've had with Fusion since, and some of you guys who've been doing Fusion for a while, I, I hope you will agree with me, that when Fusion started out, there were certain tools not in there. A lot of things have been added in there, right? Um, like on the cam aspect, for example, we got all the 2D tools in there. We got the 5X tools in there that have happened. Um, we got the sheet metal. A lot of different things have been added into Fusion. Um, and it just kind of like makes sense, I think, now to make it one, one good platform. All right, um, so with that, um, that's number one. So that whole change things happens right now, but is, uh, what is pretty, pretty dang cool. Um, the other thing is to change to, to this, to, uh, to the live stream. So like I said, I have changed positions inside, and this is brand new. Uh, I have changed position inside of Autodesk. Um, what really just not really mean too much. Uh, other than doing these daily live streams, I can't guarantee that that I, I foresee that that is not gonna gonna be as easy for me to do five of these a day. Um, it doesn't mean that uh, you know the, this channel is dead. Uh, absolutely not. Um, I will still post things here. Might change up the content a little bit. Uh, I am getting more involved in some of the other products like Inventor, NAS, Tran, um, and and some different things. Um, what is part of the Autodesk collection. Uh, Fusion 360 is part of that too. So Fusion is definitely not going away from the channel. But uh, doing the daily live streams like I have been, I've been trying to do, though I've been doing, doing some travel lately, um, that is probably going to be pretty dang hard. So I just wanted to be the first one to warn you about that. Um, I had kind of like, I as I came back from my last trip, I thought that I would have like a good stretch now where I could do one, uh, every day that is uh, that's changed right uh, so I'll figure all that out I just want to keep you posted I didn't want it to to just uh, you know go you know rogue and you like what the heck uh, so that's that's that thing the and I will be in the in the chat in the end I will make sure that I keep an eye on the comments any questions or anything about all this I'll do my best to uh, to try to answer that 
Last thing, and this <laughs> is uh, more tools inside of uh, Fusion 360. If you are, it is Friday. We like to talk um, about CAM. So um, what just was, was came out was some more tools for your tool library. And this maybe is a good opportunity for me to show you also uh, somewhat how I like to use the tool libraries inside of Fusion 360. So um, this is what I recommend you do. Um, go and click on your name, go to your preferences, move over to your CAM folder over here. And again, if I'm moving too fast, don't worry, you can always rewind, rewatch, right? Um, go and click uh, on the CAM and turn on Enable Cloud Libraries. We've talked about this before in, uh, in the live streams. What this does is it gives you an opportunity to uh, save and to, um, to, 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 to save your post, for example, out to the cloud. So if you're switching machines, then uh, the post is out there. We're gonna hit uh, OK to that uh, and save that out there. What the key is that when you have done that, if you go out up, up here and you go out to your main directory out here, out here, if you scroll down towards the bottom of it, I got a lot of projects, I'm sorry. All the way down to the bottom, there is an a, a area here that is called libraries. Now in this library, if you double click on that, uh, you will see that you have, uh, we talked about the camp posts before. You also have uh, camp uh, tools uh, in, in this folder here. So let me just go back again. In the asset folder, double click on that. You have four folders. There's one called camp tools. Now here's a neat thing. Let's get back out on uh, on your web browser again here's that blog post you should read about th how things are changing october 7th uh, but let me open up another browser here in the good old google and uh, go to the same place where you would go and find post processors so i've talked about this before if you google in autodesk and you do post library and you will get to this folder called cam.autodesk.com com hsm posts click on that this is where you have all the different posts uh that comes uh, that you can install into fusion 360 if you're fairly new to fusion if you're fairly new to cam um posts are as any cam guy will tell you are critical um we have a ton of of different post processes in here there is the stepcraft the one i have been uh, i've been using um, all different kinds of posts in here, all for you to download. Uh, you can tweak them. You can do all the all the crazy things um, you can do with posts. There's a Herco. Uh, yeah, so you should already be somewhat familiar with this if you're new to, or if you're not new to the live stream. If you go from post over here over to tools, click on this. Um, here are the standard tools that are inside of Fusion, but a couple of things have been added. The Harvey tool uh, catalog have been added in here, and the Helical tool uh, solution have been added in here. Now, I don't know, you know, some people who's watching are very familiar with these, some of them are not. I can tell you what, when I used to work at Ridlam, uh, getting the Harvey tool uh, catalog was absolutely like one of the best times when that comes. They have like end mills that is like a thou in diameter, like, a third of a human hair thickness. I don't know how I don't know how somebody runs those. <laughs> don't give me the don't ask me for feeds and speeds for those. You can now download these. Now the way you do this is you hit download. It's gonna download. You can see here uh, the helical solution. This is what I'm downloading right now. Um, and that should appear. Let's see if we go into um, into our downloads folder here. Oh, I can drag it over, right? So it will show up here. It has an extension called JSON. Jason? J-S-O-N. It's got to stand for something. <laughs> uh, or maybe somebody named Jason figured this out. Uh, <laughs> no, never mind. So go into Fusion, and uh, in this um, in this asset folder, and in the CAM tools, upload that JSON folder, whoever he is. Hit select files. Just like you would bring a file in, hit that folder there and uh, and hit the upload button. 
and that shouldn't take uh, very long. So I just did the, the healer call here, bring that one in. It's all complete. Now it might just take a second for all this to, uh, to it's got to get up in the cloud and come back down again. I'm going to restart Fusion. I'm not sure if you have to do that, but I think you have to. So let's close Fusion down. Give it a one second. Just got to reset up. One case of beer, two case of beer. And uh, let's fire Fusion back up. Doom doo doo doo. This should be music. It should be like Star Wars music when uh, when Fusion starts up. Da, da. All right, here we go. Uh, so now when we go into Cam Tools, we have this helical in here. Let's go to the model environment. Let's go to Cam and uh, go into the tool library here. Click on that. Um, and you will now see that with that, uh, with enabling the cloud library, you will get a folder over here called the cloud. And you will see in here that we now have the helical solutions in here. Uh, so this is where that tool library from helical will, uh, will be placed. Um, and oh my goodness, they have a lot of tools. They're great tools too. Uh, so this is all the different tools that you can buy from Helical. I showed you there's also Harvey's catalog. I'm sure that hopefully other uh, tool manufacturers um, can, can provide the same thing. Um, so the way I work with this is I like, to, um, I like to create folders in here for different materials. So this is my custom folders for alloy milling, alloy turning, aluminum milling, turning, any custom tools. I created one called Livestream at one point. Um, I don't know. You can right click on these and uh, and you can delete uh, a tool library if you want to. Just uh, delete that out of there. You can of course add some too. So if we right click here and say uh, new tool library, uh, we can name this. So what I will normally do, and I like to do it per material, but um, and, and the reason I like to do this is because the tool manufacturers will give you a good starting points for tooling, but it really comes down to your machine, what material you're cutting, how your setup is and things like that. So uh, let's just call this, um, for example, um, I would maybe do one that is, I don't know, 420 stainless, if that's what I'm cutting a lot at. Let me just call it live stream so we can remember that that's the folder. Uh, so the way I will normally do this is I will go to Helical. This is their catalog that we just installed, right? And I will go in here and I will find, uh, you could search uh, for some dimensions in here uh, if that is, uh, if that is what, what you want. Um, you, so you can filter things down here. Um, but you can, of course, also scrolling down, whatever, whatever you want. Um, so if you go in here and we're looking, we can see here that there's a lot of half-inch end mills. Half-inch end mill is normally what uh, I use to machine a lot of. And you can see here that helical have it all broken down into um, to the what material, how many flutes, helix, things like that. So let's go in here and find a uh, free flute, uh, half-inch end mill free flute. Um, that is probably uh, a, good, a good cutter. Um, Actually, this one is probably what I would normally select, length of cut, 175. So what I will do is I will right click on this one and I will copy this tool into my material 420 stainless. Right click and paste it. So find the tool you want in the, in the, in the helical, right click on it, copy it, then go over to your custom one, right click and paste it. Um, so you get that tool in there. This is now your half inch. I know that I said for aluminum and we're now 420 stainless. <laughs> that make much sense. But if you watch these live streams on a regular basis, you know that not everything I do makes sense. Um, <laughs> but what is what what you now can do is you can go in here, you can modify this. So right click and hit edit tool. And uh, I'm going to go back to the first tab over here. The neat thing about this, two things that is neat, more than one thing is neat about this. First of all, you just got the one out of their catalog here. Uh, you got that product number, but actually down here, you can take this and you can do a control C, go out on the web, do a control V, and you can paste that link that is inside the, your tool library 
right now, right here. And you can paste that out and you will now find this cutter uh, right in, in their catalog with the price and everything else, including they have this machining advisor where you can go in and you can figure out your feeds and speeds and, and all this stuff. So this is, this is kind of like, you know, extending the two, the two out. So you get this information in here. Um, I used to sit and fill this out manually. So this is, thank goodness, you don't have to do that anymore. Uh, the second tab is the cutter tab. Now you don't really have to fill anything out here because, well, this is Helical's, uh, you know, this is their tool library. They're gonna go show you kind of um, how that whole thing, how that whole thing is. Um, you can go into a holder and again, Fusion have all different kinds of holders. If you want those on, you of course don't have to put the holder on, um, but if you know what holder you're using, many times that can be kind of nice. So for example, we'll go down here. I used to do a lot of uh, Cat 40s, maybe 32, maybe a, a two, two uh, inch, Cat 40, hit OK, so that that gets placed in here. That's, of course, great if you're doing something, um, you know, when you simulate it, you can see the tool holder, but also uh, you can go in, if you're doing three axis milling, uh, you can actually say avoid shank and tool holder. So so that's in there. Uh, the feeds and speeds, you still have to, you still have to put that in. Again, uh, Helical will give you some uh, recommendation and be aware of their machining advisor uh, in here where you can, if you click on that, should take you in a little bit closer into uh, to some feeds and speeds or wherever you get your, your feeds and speeds from, um, but get those uh, put in there. Again, feeds and speeds, it comes down to material, comes down to the machine, comes down to the rigidity of your whole setup with the fixturing and everything. Um, so you can put that in there. Also, the last tab. Just want to make sure that you're aware of this. Uh, I get some 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 questions from time to time. Um, if you do need to specify a specific tool number to a specific tool, um, that is not so important. If you have a, I would say a smaller mill, but I used to run this uh, eight pallet Metsura. They had like I don't think 219 tools in it. So there to be able to renumber tools and, and do that is important. Um, down here, if you have a smaller mill but you don't have a tool changer, if you click manual tool change, then every time it sees a tool change in the post, it will actually um, stop. So you can swap the tools out manually. And of course, also the other one, brake control, if you have one of these probes that you can, uh, table probes, uh, with the post, you can now go down and check your tool um, if it, for example, broke. Um, actually, when I was at Ridlam, uh, I didn't use it. Yeah, I used it. I used the table probe for breakage, but I was actually using it more with a lock for like, if your tool got pushed up into the collet. Like if you're tapping a hole or something like that, I always uh, ran down on the, on the probe down there it's good, if you're doing like a tab, it's good to do a quick reverse with the tab uh, to fling any chips off so you don't get a false reading, but then go down to the table probe and just check that that tab didn't get pushed, didn't get pushed up in, uh, in the collet. Some of you guys have definitely agreed with me that you, you have tried that. So um, that was kind of like the big news uh, to share with you today. Um, definitely, I would recommend that you go out uh, and check out this new Fusion. So there's gonna be only, next month, there's only gonna be one Fusion 360. Not all this uh, ultimate and, and, and standard version anymore. Um, it's gonna be one, one, one piece of software that can do it all. Um, the whole pricing thing, as I talked about in the beginning, if you came in a little bit late, if you're right now on the standard version, paying free 10, uh, your pricing will not change. Um, if you're on the ultimate, then you will actually get uh, 24 months where you don't have to pay and then everybody else will be locking in on the new price that is $4.95 a month. All that is scheduled to happen uh, in a month. If you're a hobbyist or if you're education license, nothing is changing for you. It's only for uh, the commercial people. So anybody on a commercial license will get 
the advanced simulation tools, it will get the five axis and it will get uh, generative. Super excited about that. Um, the other change that these live streams, I'm not sure what's gonna happen with the channel, um, but uh, I'm gonna be a little bit busy with some other things. So we'll figure it out. I'll keep you posted. Uh, definitely, you know, appreciate all you guys who, who are chiming in on these. Definitely not gonna be the last live stream, but might just have to figure something else out then five times a week. Um, and then in the end, these uh, tools from Helical and from Harvey, big fan of both those uh, tool manufacturer. Like I said in the beginning, Harvey tools, um, they do like this crazy small end mills, amazing. Also, they have an awesome uh, cutter for plastic that I used uh, uh, one time. It's like a one flute thing for, for plastic that is really great. Um, Helix, uh, Helical tools, I've used those a couple of times at uh, Pier 9 in San Francisco. Definitely also a killer tools there, so pretty excited about having them in the software. That was what I was planning on talking about today. Um, I will uh, make sure that I sit in the chat for a few minutes, just if there's any specific questions that I can't answer. I think I shared about as much as I know, um, but, but who knows. Um, absolutely appreciate you guys uh, taking the time uh, to watch these live streams. Definitely mean the world to me. Thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if you don't. I definitely want your, uh, your honesty. And though that these live streams might not happening uh, on a daily basis uh, right now, it doesn't mean that there will not be Fusion 360 videos on the channel. I'll have to figure all that out. I just wanted to share that information with you. Hope you have an awesome day. Hope you have an awesome uh, weekend planned. And um, I will see you soon. Take care, folks. And until the next time. Have an awesome, awesome day. Thank you.